Now let's move over to our object list area here. Now as I browse through these folders, you'll see the list of objects that are inside of each one of those folders. All right. Now next to each one of these objects is the icon that tells you what type of object you are looking at. Well, let's pop over to the author ribbon here. Now you will, you will get familiar with these icons over time, but they may be a little tricky when you're first starting out with author. So we do give you uh, a way to identify what type of object that is. If you look at the author ribbon and you want to create a new book, notice how it has the book icon and then the word book underneath it this piece of paper icon and then the word topic underneath it. So if you don't have these icons memorized straight out of the gate, then you can pop over to the author ribbon or the design ribbon and it will give you that icon and then also the name of that object as well. All right, so we're looking at our objects here. These objects have been organized into this folder. An object can only be in one folder at a time, okay? It's basically that object's home address, all right? This object lives in the employment contracts folder. If I were to click and drag it to another folder, I would be changing that object's home address. All right. Now, we also have a preview option for our objects. We'll go ahead and select object preview here. All right, and as we browse through our objects, you see a preview of those objects down at the bottom of the screen. Now I can actually drag this line up if I wanted to, so I can see more of that object, but I can browse through, and I don't have to open that object up now to take a look at its content. Now, if you knew that the content was different between the print, help, and web tab, you could toggle between these different views to see what the content looked like for those different views. All right, and again, that is object preview, and then we're toggling between print help and web view.